Alrighty then, what is up everybody? It's me, J-Rod, the filmmaker, former film major, frequent fighting gamer from Philadelphia, and welcome back to another Multiverses Monday. What? What was that? This is the first Multiverses Monday that I've ever done? Oh. Oh. Also, it's not Monday? Okay, interesting enough, I get it's not Monday, but I am shooting this video on a Monday. We're gonna talk about Multiverses, so I think that makes this a Multiverses Monday maybe that's a bit of a stretch maybe i'm reaching there but what is up we're here to talk about some more multiverses because apparently they've been slowly but surely and almost secretly dropping new footage of multiverses here and there honestly i didn't think we got any reveals since that last uh you know hey we're coming back here's our roadmap to launch launch is on may 28th which is about one month from the day i'm recording this video we only got one more month left and I thought that they were kind of radio silent, which was weird. Like they came back and said, hey, the game is coming back. Here's the date. And then I didn't hear anything else from them, but they have been dropping stuff on their social media. So I went to their Twitter and there's a bunch of clips that they've dropped of gameplay, netcode stuff, new features that I have yet to actually react to. So that's what we are going to be doing today in today's video is reacting to the new footage of multiverses unfortunately like i said this is going to be on twitter not on youtube that's only unfortunate because the compression the video compression on twitter is just kind of ass so the videos are gonna look like lower quality than if this was on youtube but as far as i know this is the only place where we can watch these videos um there is nothing on their youtube there's literally just the last video that i already reacted to and no updates after that so i don't know if they're gonna come back at later and add this stuff to the YouTube or if they just don't plan on doing it at all. But either way, we're gonna react to it now. We're not gonna wait for them to upload it or re-upload it. We're just gonna check it out as is currently. All right, so I think let's, without further ado, let's get into it. Let's switch over to the reaction camera. All right, so this is what we have up first. This is a look at the net code. They are doing some tests on the net code. You see we have uh, FPS, ping, packet loss, and resim frames and then there's also this diagram of these two lines that show you like where the actual uh, movement of the character is versus like the estimated rollback movement now here's the thing they talked about how they are implementing a new version of rollback into the game now that they're on a new engine and they completely redesigned it from the ground up apparently they already had a version of uh, rollback netcode but they're doing a new version of rollback netcode that should be more accurate so i you know have no idea how that's going to impact the game until we actually see it but they did decide to include some clips okay this is another clip same thing but with a higher ping and as you can see the the line between you know the rollback and the actual movement still pretty spot on so i think that means they're going for a pretty accurate net code even in high ping environments it should still move you the way you expect to be moved i guess and then we also have a full match a high ping match that is from mexico to connecticut and we get a look at some new gameplay now someone said like um they thought that this was like slower and I did see a clip that made it look slower, but looking at it right now on this clip, it looks perfectly fine. This looks exactly like Multiverse's uh, gameplay before. The characters are bigger, however, and there is some new moves. I don't know if we'll see any of them. There's parries, there's dash attacks, and who knows what else. Uh, Batman still has that, that nice little low slide attack that's really good to combo with. Also gets good knockback on that second hit. Finn is fully charged up with his uh his his high five. Yeah, everyone looks mostly the same here. I'm not seeing anything super new. I don't think I'm seeing anyone use the parry system or anything. Oh, we had a trap. We got a, a scoop trap door set up that I've never seen someone use in a game. Oh, nice. Only one more for the blue team. And let's see. Neither of the red team have high damage yet, so technically they're still in this. T 
Galaxy. Look, Nakat is taking hella damage. He is the tank of the team, you know, playing uh, Wonder Woman, so can't afford to do so. Oh, nice. You saw that? I used to love hitting people with that Wonder Woman punch, man. It has such good knockback, and it's not like a huge hitbox radius so it was almost like a snipe when you just hit them right there on that perfect sweet spot and knock them out oh it's so good okay so this is brand new it's a new superman skin to celebrate superman anniversary i guess pretty cool skin i'm not a superman player but it is a nice skin also superman's like a santa claus christmas skin that he got was really cool too little teasers that they were doing for some nhl but that um some nhl brand deal but that is our first look at a parry look how much like what a combo superman got off of that parry mm -hmm. all of that into a knockout and also what i'm more curious is how big do you think that parry window is let's see it huh he, it looks like he hit it right on time when he was about to get hit, so it, it might not be a massive parry window, but if you can hit that, it looks like you get a lot for it. Alright, anything in this? Do we get another look at a parry or a dash attack? Oh, we got an air parry out of Batman. That was pretty clean, I'm not gonna lie. And he was he was the He was the one giving offense to that one. Knocks him up into the air. Boom! Parries at the perfect time. I like that little feint that he went for there. So basically, Batman starts the combo, goes up like he's about to finish it, parries instead, and then finishes it. Boom, bow, and you're gone. Oh, I can see that counterplay. That's giving me ideas. So instead of going up for that spike, if your opponent gets knocked out of the combo and they're about to counter or something, you can just hit that parry. Boom and then send them flying. And that's good to know too that the parry is grounded and in the air as most moves and attacks are in this game. So you can parry on the ground and in the air. All right, so the last thing I wanna mention before we get out of here, this is the original cinematic trailer for Multiverse's the official like trailer reveal. And you know, there was the open beta coming up in July that literally was what we played until it got shut down. Um, and this was a pretty epic one because this brought all the characters together. You know, you got to see Batman and Arya Stark going against each other uh, over top of Bugs Bunny and Shaggy, which is pretty cool. But um, someone recently commented on this and says, man, rewatching this a month before the game relaunches gives me chills for the next trailer promo. And Multiverses responds and says the next one will be a banger two but now we are officially one month away from the relaunch of multiverses we have confirmation that we'll be getting another trailer some point before the game comes out so i'm very excited for it i have no idea like what their rollouts marketing cadence is going to be from here but we're getting very very close like honestly i want more words now considering we're only a month away and i would like them to talk about what are some new characters we're getting? What are some new stages we're getting? What is the next battle pass going to look like? I've heard rumors that they added the Gleemium, which is their premium currency to the battle pass this time. Um, something that they didn't have in the open beta that a lot of people have been asking for. So I'm excited to see what all those changes are. Are there gonna be new modes? Are they gonna rehaul free for all mode? Cause free for all mode was fun, but the rule system was not the best. If they're gonna keep the rule system, also give us a stock system at the same time give us stocks rules give us time give us different modes to play with or different rule sets at least but also there was that um in the last trailer they talked about a new pve mode i don't know if it's replacing the co-op versus ai or if it's just something additional another additional single player mode but i love single player content in fighting games so i I'm gonna be excited for it, I'm gonna enjoy it. But that is actually everything that we had to check out for Multiverses going into the, the, the next month. We got one more month until the game is here, so 
yeah, I'll be here the next time something else interesting happens, if anything interesting happens before we get that next trailer. But guys, do me a favor. Tell me how you felt about this multiverse's news, and you know how to do so. Well, if you don't hear, I'll tell you, because this might be your first time. Boom, hit me with the three-hit combo. I need you to smash the like button like Ryu, spare the subscribe button like Scorpion, and kick the notification bell like Bugs Bunny himself for another multiverse's Monday. <laughs> I know it's not Monday when you're seeing this video, and I know this is the first time I've ever done a multiverse Monday, but let's hope that this is not the last time. So guys, tell me how you felt about all of that new multiverse's goodness. We've got new net code and connection stuff. We've got a look at new gameplay. We got a teaser of a new trailer, and we've also got new mechanics like pairing and new skins for characters like Superman. But that's gonna be it for this one, you guys. So tell me how you felt Tell me if you feel me and if you are excited for the re-re-launch of Multiverses. But that's going to be it for this one, guys. And I'll see you next time in another new one. Peace out. Oh, Also, I also recorded a reaction to the newest character in 2XKO, formerly known as Project L. So check out that video as well. As well as my last Mortal Kombat 1 video playing with Ermac online. But that's going to be it for this one, guys. So peace out. Nice. We did at the end of the day get one of the brutals. Oh my soul. Get the fuck over here! I can't I don't think I would punish that throw. I did! I would punish that throw! Let's fucking go!